Good day, folks. Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up a green drake. It's a nice little dry fly, not a little dry fly, it's a huge dry fly, a size 10s and 12s. What it comes in, I've tied this one the Wally Wing style with the, I found with the wings going back over the body a little bit more instead of standing upright. Uh, your tippet does not twist as much, uh, which is, can be a concern with, with those style of wings. The wolf style flies work great. They're a little harder to deal with uh, doing those wings, but uh, well, let's do a Wally Wing style uh, green drake here for you today. Uh, we'll be using a standard uh, down eye dry fly hook, size 10. You can go to 12s like I mentioned. We're going to be using some watery olive flat thread to tie with. The rib on the body, I'm going to be using some kind of yellowish kind of a yellowish gold or yellow is good uh, super stretch floss. Um, the wings, of course, we're going to be using some mallard flank. The uh, hackle on the front, we're going to be using some olive dry fly saddle. And uh, we'll go with that. Okay, let's uh, get a hook in the vise. Tie one of these up. It's a slender fly, it's quite large, but uh, I want a fly that rides in a little bit rougher current. This fly will handle that water just nicely. Get my flat thread on the shank, and then I come in with um, my tail, which I forgot to mention that is moose body hair. Real nice moose, we'll use that. That gives it uh, a lot of good flotation at the back. Makes great tailing material. Put the hair in the stacker. Always stack a little extra. Now some folks will do the dry flies, they'll split the wings and count so many on each side. This is kind of a wolf style like you will. It's, uh, I've got a generous uh, amount of hair there, it's going to really float nice. I'm going to take a shank length. I'm just going to get a few loose turns in here, get my hair gathered up. Coming about, right about a third from the back. And I'll start putting a little pressure on it right in here. I'll get my um, floss, this is a super stretch floss. You can use, if you don't have that, use some yellow thread. Um, the bodies on a lot of these green drake patterns you're going to see in recipes is going to be um, dub bodies, dry fly dubbing of course. And I like using this shinier material. So you look at the green drake, it's actually a shinier body. It's not a, it, it gives me the segmentation I'm looking for and also the uh, kind of a shiny appearance if you will. Now we're just going to get a bit of a taper to the front. It's fairly thick. And I'll pull my stretch floss really tight into the thread. It's a good segmentation and, and this to me is probably as good a replication for that body as I've, I've, I've seen. Works good. Um, Easy to use. Here, the tails can point up a little bit. It's really kind of the natural, uh, the way they look in the water. Okay, I'll come in that now. Do our Wally wings. I'm going to grab a mallard flank. Get rid of the fuzzy stuff in the bottom. Grab the tip, the feather. And I fold all this down. Get that about even so that is even right in there. Come in here with the length of your wing. And I'll cut that off right snug there. Now we can just come in here and split the top. Get both sides. 
come off her little tips there. These are very big wings. I'm just going to want it to ride back over the body and, and really these mayflies that's kind of look like they're little sailboats but they do have the wings going back over themselves a little bit more than straight up. You get a really nice profile on it too and if you get the odd straggler like that I'm not too concerned about that. You want to hang it on the wall you want to make sure it's all perfect. If I'm going fishing with that I'll last just fine. And I'm just putting the hackle on the front. And I want a general, a generous amount of hackle for good flotation. Get some good dry fly floating on there. Get about six, seven turns. That's and I don't cut it, I'm just using the edge of the scissors for the as a knife. Get a little whip finish on the front. Put some head cement on there if you want. Just split that off with a knife again. There's one little straggler here. Bothers you, you can just knock that out of there. Nobody will know any difference. But this will ride really well. It's a little green drake. Um, the feather I used on the bottom actually was could have used just a little bit longer feather. And then those uh, fibers would stay down in there. I'll just trim this little wild one out of here too for you. But to go fishing, I would not be concerned about that at all. Um, what I'm concerned about, what the fish see from underneath. It's got the nice segmentation. It's got the good floatability with the moose tail. Lots of hackle on the front. You've got the replications of the, uh, the wing. And if it even wants to get a little tighter on you like that, you can fold it in a little tighter. even looks better. So there you go, green drake. It's a, it's a hatch you definitely want to fish. You can tie this up in your brown drakes, of course, and grays. So all the best to you on the water with this one, and uh, hope to catch you again real soon on, on the bench, sport fishing on the fly. Catch you again.